Hey guys, welcome to an update about the new web series that we're doing. Um, I know it's been a while, and we have been meaning to do more skits in between, but this web series has really taken all of our focus, but for good reason. We're hoping it's gonna be awesome. Um, this is Adam Parsons. I have mentioned him before in the Gecko parody. Um, he also has his own two channels. I've got uh, Adam Parsons online and Sky Slate warning for your general Tim's Puppet Pal audience <laughs> yes. that it is a little more on the adult side than but entertaining so but, yeah. if you want to check it out we'll put the links down below in the description um and hopefully you'll be seeing you guys are working on a lot of skits so you'll be updating those too right hopefully yeah, yeah. so yeah, we're it's uh, slow going we all have jobs and lives years. and all that stuff so yeah. it's kind of got to go with it as it goes but um yeah stay update updated on that and then um subscribe so you can know and then with our project with what we're collabing with um we've been working on the story for since about last year around june um it's changed time and time again i don't know the original story doesn't even look familiar anymore but um what we've got now we really like we have written the script and we've storyboarded which is a new thing for us um adam is an amazing artist so he has we've got pages and pages of storyboards um just the reason for taking so long i know kingdom of wishes was only about i'd say five months completely done um, is this is a much bigger project, um, and we're hoping it's going to be a lot better quality. Um, collabing with Adam, he has contributing things that I can't even think of, like film-wise, and obviously storyboarding, um, which has really helped the film process already. And then production-wise, Adam is an gr amazing puppet builder, and he's built almost half the puppets for this <laughs> whole web series. Uh, again, that that's why it's taking us a little bit longer. <laughs> is I still have a couple of things to finish building yeah and then there's i have a ton of props i still got to get which we're kind of going we're, by shot by shot in, we're in production and pre-production <laughs> yes. at the same time which is a terrible idea but we're doing yes. it yes um so yeah we will um i'm gonna throw some little clips of behind the scenes in this video just to give you a little not giving too much away but you can kind of be like oh they actually are doing something i'm not making this up and we'll probably be done filming hopefully by the end of the summer and then it'll be a lot of editing within but um we'll keep you updated on what's going on so yeah stay updated um, subscribe if you haven't and uh, we will let you know five six I think on the second verse, like I said, it would be kind of cool if on that second echo, he just builds it like he did yeah, he before. Built, he it would work in the second, like yeah. Or something. Yeah, it goes a little more... So maybe, just, so maybe just copy and paste all that stuff, but then have a more significant fill. Cowbell is not an instrument, rather it is a way of life. Rather it's a way to keep track of your cattle. <laughs> Does that actually work? You're just like... No, you put them on the cows, <laughs> oh. so you can know when they're around. There you go. So escape. it's not like you just ding like, it and a cow shows up. <laughs> <laughs> or you hit a cowbell and they show up, just do summon the cows. <laughs> it's a fucking <laughs> <laughs> Cows just come up out of the ground. <laughs> I didn't go that far. I mean, like, I'm not where are my cows going? <laughs> materialize the cows, though. <laughs> Who's got a cow, though? I will find you <laughs> and get my cattle back. <laughs> We need cowbell regulations. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's the middle of the night. It's like a foot of snow outside. Yes. And we're trying to make it look like it's a brisk Sunny. March morning. Yes. And we are out of extension cords, so we're trying to uh, hook up two strips. This isn't a safety hazard. No. And no snow. <laughs> Got everything oh, wrong about this. Okay. Oh, it's perfectly normal. It's probably gonna be just short. Just... Oh, come on. Oh, it goes sideways. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is stupid. <laughs> but it, the light's on. <laughs> Is the other one 
going on? Or is there a switch? That one's just a messed up one. Okay. Okay. How's it looking from inside? It looks good. Okay. I have angry neighbors though. Alright. <laughs> Maybe. Oh my gosh, it's full of snow. Okay. <laughs> Did you trip over it? What's that? Did you trip over it? No, it's just pulling it down because it's. Uh, you want to get a weight or something? What's that? Want to get? Want me to grab a weight? I think it's good. Is yeah. it making that sound? No, that's something. Oh. Uh, Lights don't make that sound. <laughs> <laughs> As long as we don't get it at too direct an angle, we shouldn't see the light, so. Yeah, I think it looks good. Okay, I'm gonna leave my shoes out here. Okay. Alright. Now watch it start snowing and when I come back outside. It's just gone. So yeah, in, in order to see that, we, we need the camera right up right here. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, at least we can work around the table. And that works perfect for the shot. Of yeah. It spins around. Then when we're doing mm -hmm. the uh, shot for the fridge, we're gonna want a front on shot to see what's in it. Here we're just seeing the side. So oh yeah, yeah. We'll see the side and then we'll but see But like when they're talking to each other, that's when you see it from this angle. Right. And that way you get a little bit of that. Yeah. Um, and we're gonna get a little bit of that when the door opening. Yeah. We're gonna get a nice, we're just gonna see the door. Mm -hmm. But um, we could use a pan show. But then yeah, we can show that and he's like, that's where my head's coming. You know, you can you see it right in there. Yeah. So I mean, that's not in the, in the storyboard, but we definitely need it. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed those clips that we showed you and uh, you're getting excited. Hopefully you didn't give too much away. We're hoping to keep you excited, but uh, not to know what the story is. It's going to be great. Um, so just stay tuned. Um, subscribe to Adam and us if you haven't. Um, you can know what's going on. And uh, once again, thanks for watching. All right, bye.